Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be looking at the module MIDI QL. MIDI QL is a successor to Minor Quality of Life if you have any experience with that. MIDI QL though is used to help automate certain parts of your game, primarily anything related to combat, your saving throws, and your attack rolls. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what it can do first, and then going to our module settings. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the character that I want to use. I'm going to target the character or monster that I want to hit. In this case, it is a hobgoblin. After that, I'm going to open up my character sheet. I open up my character sheet, but I could also use my token action HUD over here on the left-hand side as well. Next, I'm going to pick the weapon or spell that I want to use, and then just click. And providing that I have targeted the creature, it will roll the attack roll. And we can see it rolled 1d20 plus 3 plus 2. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Plus 3, then plus 2, the proficiency. So that is correct. But it did not hit. Let's just go ahead and roll until I hit. This may take a few rolls. Come on, Randall. You can get it together. There we are. So we can see here that I have hit the Hobgoblin, and I have it set up so that when it hits, it automatically rolls the damage. You can choose how you want to have this, and we're going to be taking a look at that right now. So we need to go over to Configure Settings, and then go to Module Settings, and then go to MIDI QOL. Looking here, there are some options already available to us, such as we can untarget dead after roll, we can fast forward ability rolls, we can make sure that our characters or our players don't accidentally delete items from the character sheet. But a lot of the options actually are behind the workflow settings right here. So when we click this, we can see I want to enable speed item rolls. This allows my players to use alt or control, alt for advantage or control for disadvantage. You can see here you can also change that as well. I can show, I can change what is displayed when an item's details are presented in the chat. I can condense it all down into one single card. I can have it set up so that when I create a template, it automatically targets. So like for example, if I create the fireball template and it's on the map, it'll automatically target all the characters or monsters within the range. I can have it so that it doesn't hide roll details or it does hide the roll details. You can see there's a lot of options here that you probably just need to read through and see what works for your game. I do want to point out one thing, and that is here, I like to personally use the let me roll that for you. That is a different module because that allows the players to roll their own saves whenever they are uh, required to roll a save, like a dexterity saving throw, or they you know, step on a trap. And I also want to point out here, auto apply item effects to targets. If you use any other modules like dynamic active effects, especially if you want to use them to create potions, you want to make sure that this box is checked. And the last one here, there is Enable MIDI QOL Custom Sounds. If you want to create custom sounds and put them here, you can. I haven't tested yet how this works with the Maestro module. I'll be looking at that later, and I'll comment in either in the description below or on that particular video. All right, so you can see how this works. I'll take one more look through if you want to take a look at how my setup is. But again, you can change things just as easily for your own games so that works for you. Like maybe you don't want to have the attack rolls visible, you don't want to have the AC visible, you want the monster saves to be hidden. So, there are a lot of things that you can change around with MIDI QOL to make it work for your game. Okay, thanks everyone for listening, that is where we are going to end things for today. Let me know though if you have any questions or comments down below.